A well-worn Bible serves as a source of inspiration for this South Florida filmmaker. Juan Jimenez keeps it close by as he edits video of his latest project, a story of his own life. I have a lot of craziness around and I grew up in a very tough, difficult environment. In 1988, Juan's three-year-old brother, Jonathan, went missing from outside their home in Bogota, Colombia. Juan was just five at the time. We were screaming, Jonathan, Jonathan, all around. I remember trying to search under the bed and different places in the house, in the kitchen. They never found Jonathan and believed he was kidnapped. Seven years later, their fears were confirmed. This guy who took my brother return and confesses to my mom that, that that he did it. He said, because my stepfather ordered him to do it. And he said, don't worry about it. The kid is fine. The kid is good. He is with a wealthy family in the United States. After hearing that, Juan made it a mission to find his brother. He grew up, became an actor, came to Miami to work, attend film school, and search for Jonathan. I need a miracle. It was very difficult. How am I going to find my brother? Every clue Juan uncovered led to dead ends. He was ready to give up until he came across a magazine article about his favorite actor. An interview that they did to Denzel Washington. They ask you what code you live by. And this changed me forever. He said, I read from the Bible every day. And I was like, no. Juan started doing the same. He says it gave him faith that he would find the key to locating his brother. And from nowhere, I got this email. It was my heritage DNA company. In 2018, the company was offering free DNA testing for people looking for long lost relatives. Juan was selected to take a test. He took it and waited. A year later, the company found Jonathan, not in the US, but in Europe. Early last year, Juan flew from Miami to Norway to be reunited with Jonathan. <laughs> hey, mama. Hola, mamita, ¿qué tal? From there, they went to Colombia so Jonathan could meet his mother. We visited with them all together in Bogota via Zoom. All my life, I wanted to find my family, but the need of doing it grew as I got older. Jonathan grew up in Norway after being adopted from a Colombian orphanage at three years old. I had very few memories and very little knowledge about what actually had happened to me. He tried DNA testing years before, but never found any relatives. And I have a brother who's like protecting me and who's always standing up for me. Juan, for you, what's it like to be next to him? I don't have enough words to, to express what this means for me. <laughs> Juan says the family is focused on healing. Part of that includes turning their story into a documentary. It's possible. Miracles exist. Miracles do exist. One hopes by sharing his personal story of a loved one lost and found, he can inspire others to never give up on a search for family. Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News.